What's up Charisma Crew? This is your captain speaking. It's the season and today I'm gonna be ranking every snow themed multiplayer map in Halo from worst to best. I know I've got a monumental task ahead of me so let's jump right in. I won't be including Glacier from Halo 5 or the newly added Permafrost in Halo Infinite because they're just forge canvases. So let's start the list off with Ice Fields. This was a Halo Combat Evolved PC exclusive map, well until it came back for the MCC at least. It borrows elements from the campaign mission Assault on the Control Room, and to be honest, feels massive. The map has two bases on each side, and two tunnels that lead to the bridge on the center of the map, which holds the majority of the power weapons. Below the bridge, there are also two teleporters. While visually the map looks nice, I just don't think it's very fun or interesting to play on. Every time this match comes up in matchmaking, I always see players quitting immediately. Up next is Snowbound. Either you're gonna hate me for this or agree with me, but I did not like Snowbound. Again, visually I think it's a very nice looking map and instantly recognizable, but I never thought it played really well. That being said though, I think it's still really cool how Bungie experimented with this unconventional map. From the shield doors in every base to the way they are connected via the ice caves, and even the automated turrets around the perimeter of the map. It was fresh and innovative at the time on paper, but it just didn't play as well. The majority of the fights took place around the shield doors. Most players would move through the tunnels because the going outside was pretty much a guaranteed death, so it really restricted how players played on this map. At number 9 is Breakpoint. Inspired heavily by the area outside of Dr. Halsey's lab in the campaign level The Package, this map is absolutely breathtaking. Till this day, I think this map just looks so good. Breakpoint is a massive map most commonly used for invasion, but you can play regular big team battle on it as well. The map features a plethora of vehicles such as the Wraith, Warthog, Mongoose, Banshee, Ghost, and even the Falcon. That being said though, it's definitely a vehicle dominated map, and if you're someone who prefers on foot combat, it's gonna be more challenging to succeed. At number 8 is Containment, honestly a pretty underrated map that people often forget from Halo 2. It continued the trend of interactable maps in Halo 2 with its giant doors or ramps on each base that could be opened by pressing a button. Funny bit of trivia, the devs initially intended on Containment being a remake of Timberland from Halo Combat Evolved, but over the course of development, it just branched to its own unique map. I just remember the map feeling so huge at that time, especially when traveling from base to base on foot, but the various pathways along the caves still makes it viable without getting obliterated by vehicles. I don't know about you guys, but I definitely have fond memories of containment. Up next is Avalanche, certainly a fan favorite of the series. People have been clamoring for a remake of Avalanche in Halo Infinite, and it's easy to see why. With massive vehicular battles in the outer perimeter of the map, and intense on-foot combat towards the middle of the map gives something for every type of player to enjoy. As a spiritual successor to Sidewinder, another map on this list we'll get to soon, it really improves upon all the things Sidewinder did wrong, such as reducing the long stretches of icy terrain that would make vehicles slide, and in general just improving the flow of the map. There are even some extremely powerful man can and several launch players across basically the entire map. The map is especially suitable for Capture the Flag and One Flag CTF because of its almost symmetrical layout and massive bases with multiple air and ground vehicles. Loading up a transport hornet and stealing the enemy's flag is always a fun and thrilling experience. Just make sure to not get shot down by the enemy team and give them a free triple kill. At number 6 is Meltdown, another really underrated map. I feel like the hate for Halo 4 really makes people forget what a great big team battle map this was. It's almost a figure 8 shaped map with two levels, with the top level being optimal for on foot combat and the bottom level being best for vehicular combat. And then there's that light bridge in the middle of the map, being an absolutely chaotic combat zone. Meltdown flows really well and caters to both types of players, whether you prefer jumping on a mantis and mowing down opponents or sneaking through the ice caves on foot, the map has a little bit of everything. The classics never go out of style, because at number 5 is Sidewinder. The atmosphere was just so magical for its time. The eerie silence as the cold wind howled through this icy tundra just makes it so memorable and nostalgic for me. The biggest downside as I mentioned earlier is the long stretches of slippery ice in the middle of the map, but I don't know if many people mind it in hindsight. The outer edge of the map contains two large cliffs on either side, being connected to the bases with portals. The inner edge has a network of tunnels that lead to the opposing base. This really helped diversify the movement around the map, but let's be honest, the most fun way is to go guns blazing in a warthog, steal the enemy team's flag, and escape by the skin of your teeth.
Okay, I know I'm cheating a little bit here, but it is a snow themed map. At number 4 is Icebox, a remake of Turf from Halo 2. What a beautiful map man. I remember seeing it when 343 added Icebox to MCC and I thought to myself, damn, Halo 3's engine really still holds up. Well, for the most part. The skybox is gorgeous on this map and the hornet that flies in and shines the spotlight is just the icing on the cake. <laughs> See what I did there? Get it? Like icing? <coughs> When it comes to the layout, it's mostly identical to Turf, and Turf to me has always been a top tier 4v4 map. The main L-shaped road with the warthog and the tight lanes and alleyways makes it just a different type of map and Icebox is no exception to this. Playing with silence pistols on this map especially makes it enjoyable. We're in the top 3 now, and at number 3 is Stasis. I'm sure there are more than a few surprise faces right now. Honestly, I even don't know what I like about this map, but it just screams balance to me. I'm no hardcore ranked esports player, so I honestly can't objectively say, but I just feel like this is one of the best flowing maps in Halo 5. It's a remix of the map Torque from the same game, which ironically most people don't like. It's got a symmetrical design and a circular structure in the center, making it an exceptionally easy map to pick up and play for anyone. It also looks gorgeous. For all of Halo 5's art style flaws, Stasis is definitely an exception. Perhaps another controversial take but at number 2 is Longbow, one of the most fun BTB maps in all of Halo in my opinion. I have so many fond memories playing Dominion on this map, it is insane. Having what is essentially 5 different bases on this map instead of the traditional 2 makes it so fresh to play on even for standard BTB game types like Slayer, King of the Hill and CTF. You could even theoretically play a 4v4v4v4 on this map and I guarantee you would have an amazing time. There are clear pathways for vehicles to dominate and plenty of cover and bases for on foot combat. Visually the map looks stunning with an absolutely breathtaking skybox. I really hope Longbow returns in Halo Infinite because I truly believe it's a top tier BTB map. And to probably nobody's surprise, the best snow theme map is Lockout. Probably as expected, Lockout is a timeless map that has been remade over and over again for a good reason. It's got unique pathways, chilly vibes, and is easy to pick up and say 1v1 me and Lockout bro. Let's not forget the ghost of Lockout either. But over the years, Lockout truly has gone down as one of the most timeless and iconic Halo maps of all time. For the sake of the video, I'm also considering Lockdown from Halo 2 Anniversary together with Lockout because aside from the interactable stalactites and a few jumps, the map is almost identical. And that is my ranking of all the snow multiplayer maps in Halo. Let me know what your favorite snow theme map is in the comments below. And if I missed your favorite map, let me know as well. As usual, if you enjoyed the video, Superman punch that like button and subscribe for more Halo content. Happy Halo days and I'll see you guys in the next one. Subscribe to Captain Charisma.